So today we're gonna do some little, uh, little jars like this. Been making some of these, just little round knickknack jar type things. Um, it's got a inner gallery, not a outer gallery. So the lid is just flat and just sits in there. These are nice little, you know, something or others. Always good to have like a little selection of lidded things if you're planning on selling. Um, <clears throat> way back when my pottery professor said that if you want to double the price of something, put a lid on it. So I don't know if that's true. That's not true. That's not true. But people like little lidded jars, so we'll go ahead and do one of those. <clears throat> So, you know, it's a pretty simple concept. Just throw a little round thing, make sure that the lip of it has enough extra uh, clay on it to make the inner gallery. Kind of show you that. Um, I'm just going to do like a little one pound ball here. And then I'll throw the lid separate out of a smaller piece of clay. So just pop that on. Go ahead and center it up. Almost to the bottom. We're not going to trim these little guys. Not worth the trouble. So I'm just opening, you know, about a little less than a quarter inch from the bottom. Give it a quick uh, compression there from the outside to the inside to the center there. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, even though it's going to be round, I want to uh, want to pull it into a cylinder at first and want to round it out after. It's always the easiest um, when it comes to porcelain. And really, <clears throat> any tips I give on porcelain, they work like doubly for stoneware. Um, stoneware, you have a lot more um, margin of error. Um, but if you want to go into porcelain, um, it's important not to rely on that and not to take advantage of that margin of error. Um, so yeah, th uh, try throwing with the center of gravity being closest to the center of the wheel head as you can. Um, this is gonna always be good. So it doesn't matter if it's porcelain or stoneware. As long as you can keep it straight and um, stable. Like when you're pulling your angles and stuff, always make sure that it comes back to the top, otherwise uh, it can get away from you. So we'll just uh, do a pull here, <clears throat> try to get some of that thickness off the bottom, up into the wall. And then leave your top a little bit thicker because uh, you got to put that gallery in. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna take off the buttress here. There we go, and then we can start shaping. And I like 
for a small one like this, I like to use just the metal ribbon. Um, make sure inner walls are nice and juicy. And then uh, just start forming. So to begin with, we want to form the, the top part first with our uh, jar here. Remember to leave that top part a little bit thicker. <clears throat> a little bit more juice in here. I'm all dry. Alright. Go ahead and take care of our bottom half now. And aside from this top rim, and the rest of it is very thin. Um, so you want to take care of the bottom here. Um, support it with the rib. Work on that shape a bit. It needs to come out a little bit more at the bottom here. It's risky whenever you go over the the base. Okay. <clears throat> Just going to go ahead and clean out the inside here. There's just a little bit of slip in the bottom that up into the walls in case I need to do some dinkering around in there. Okay. One last shape here. And the further you go out, the harder it's going to be to put the inner gallery in, just because the whole thing's going to want to collapse on itself. Just touch up this uh, top rim here. Flatten it out a bit to prepare for the So I have this uh, rib here, it's just a standard, I think this is a bowl rib, but uh, it's got a nice 90 degree angle on one end here, so your finger's nice and lubed up, um, just uh, hit this on the rim with the, the 90 degree angle. Supporting with your left hand fingers, gently work it down. I like to go up after I set that inner uh, gallery. I like to go through and straighten up that edge. <clears throat> and then I take a sponge. I don't chamois these because um, the chamois tends to um, remove a lot of the definition. And you want definition comes to lids, so just really gently hit it with a sponge and get your inner gallery there. <clears throat> and I'll just go one, go through one more time, 
hit it up with the rib, refine the shape a bit, not enough to where you throw the whole piece out of whack. <clears throat> All right, something like that. <clears throat> it's nice to have like the foot and the rim be the same um, width. And so we'll <clears throat> take our calipers here, an old rusty pair of calipers here. Just gonna set that lid. Oh, would you look at that? It's exactly perfect. I must have thrown one just like this earlier, so we'll take that off. <clears throat> With the help of a tool, I guess. Set it aside. <clears throat> now we'll do the lid for it. Okay, so I got some little chunks here. Way too much for the lid, but I kind of do like a mini off the hump type of lid throwing. Um, if I was doing a bunch of these, I'd just make a you know like a three pound ball here and then throw everything off the hump. But just doing one for now. So just center your piece of clay and then. Um, just like if you were throwing off the hump, kind of open it in two. Open it into a, a platter. You want to go fairly, at least for this form, fairly flat. Um, that kind of lid looks best in a inner gallery. Let's see where we're at. <coughs> oh, perfect. All right, so. <coughs> What I usually do is I'll take a, a trim tool, something like this, and I'll just uh, trim it down like this, and then we'll uh, trim the knob on it later. I'm sure you can imagine how that goes. Just taking some of the bulk off now <clears throat> so it makes it easier to trim later. And we'll just do a knob. When we do the knob, we'll just take it off of this big chunk here. So yeah, that's uh, just like a little knick-knack jar, a little one-pounder, you can kind of 
tell what it might look like if you just take the two pieces and put them together like that. Not too shabby, huh? Alright. Thanks for watching.